favorite time of the week. Time to give you guys your homework if you're doing your workouts from home. For today we have again a repeat workout and this one is from April 14th earlier this year. This video is going to be quite short because it's only going to be two movements in the workout. What you're going to do is 300 lunges for time with an EMOM, so every minute on a minute with a little assignment in between. I'll go into that later. First I want to make sure you guys are nice and warm. We're going to do that by moving for six minutes. I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to alternate three movements of which the first is the downward facing dog. Get on your hands and your feet, press your chest to your knees and see if you can get your heels to go towards the ground. From there, you go into a high plank, bring my hips down, I keep my arms completely straight, I'm gonna lower my shoulder blades together, I'm gonna press all the way out, lower down and press out. Do that 10 times, try to hold your plank, go back, into your downward facing dog. Again, hold this for 20 seconds and then we finish by coming down onto the knees. We're going to do 10 reps of something called the bird dog. So first we start as a dog on the knees, hands on the floor. Then I'm going to straighten out my right arm and my left leg. I hold this here for three seconds, squeeze the glutes and the core, come back other side. Same thing, hold and squeeze, and alternate. Then go back into your downward facing dog and keep doing this for six minutes. Once you're through this, you can pause me while you're doing this. We have one more thing for the warm up. Two movements, and we start with some single leg hip bridges. Get onto your back. First two feet on the floor. I'm gonna lift my hips. Straighten out one leg, keep my knees next to each other. I'm gonna lower my hips down, press up, lower down, press up. Do this 10 times on each leg. If you wanna make this a little bit heavier, you can weigh it down by maybe put some books on your hips, a bottle of water, anything you like. Second one is what we call active pigeons. I'm gonna place one foot in front of me on the floor with my hands on either side of it. Then, I'm slowly lowering down my knee to the side. And from here, I bring my knee back up and I try to use my hands as little as possible. So from the side of my foot, I'm pushing up, bringing my knee back, slowly lowering down, pressing up with the bottom of my foot. Five active pigeons on each side, do two rounds of both, and then we're ready to get into the workout. So it doesn't matter if you're doing beginner, experience, intermediate today, you're going to go for 300 lunges. For a lunge, you stand up tall, big chest, step forward, back knee goes to the ground, step back. If you look from the side, you'll see my foot comes down, then my knee doesn't come past my foot, it stays above the heel and step back. Collect 300 reps in total, so 150 on each side. The catch today is that it's an EMOM. So every minute on the minute, while you're working, if a new minute starts, if you do beginner or intermediate, you're gonna do three burpees. If you do experienced, it gets a little harder, you do five. For the burpees, stand up tall, jump down, hips and chest touch the ground, come up and extend all the way in the top. You keep working till you've collected your 300 lunges and your total time will be your score of the day. Let me know if you do it. Uh, also let me know if it went better than when you did it last time. And when you're done, you can go for a couch stretch to give those legs some love. So we'll stretch out the front. Either come up against the wall, a couch, um, a tree if you're outside. Bring your back foot up against the wall. One foot in front of you, come up tall and then try to push your hip forward. This will give you a nice stretch along your quad and your hip flexors on the front. Hold this for three minutes on each side, really letting that acid get out of the legs and then you are done. Thank you for joining again and I will see you in the next one.